Today's gospel lesson comes from the book of Acts, uh, chapter 2, verses uh, 1 through 12. And I'm going to read it for you. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of flame that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Now they were staying in Jerusalem, God-fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. When they heard the sound, the crowd came together in bewilderment, each because they heard their own language being spoken. Utterly amazed, they asked, Aren't all these who were speaking Galileans? How is it that each of us hears them in his native languages? Parthians and Medes, Elamites, residents of Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, uh, and Asia, uh, Phrygia, Pamphylia, Egypt, and parts of Libya near Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. We hear them declaring the wonders of God in their own tongues. Amazed and perplexed, they ask one another, what does this mean? Well, I'm calling this sermon Friendly Fire. And you're going to say, well, Friendly Fire means you're getting shot out by people that are wearing the same uniform that you're wearing. But no, there's a much, much older meaning of Friendly Fire. And it means fire burning in a place where it's meant to be, where it's contained, like this candle. This candle provides light a stove cooking our food, a fireplace heating our home are all examples of friendly fire. But that doesn't mean we should be careless or we should mistreat fire because even friendly fire can burn us. The fire is a very powerful form of energy. Wildfires happen in the summer months as the trees and the grass dries out. And some wildfires grow so large that they have their own winter. That's true. They create wind, and they create uh, tongues of flame called fire tornadoes. And, but the firestorms, they're beautiful as well as deadly. I have a friend who was caught for just a moment in a forest fire in a national forest. She was almost trapped because she was just awestruck by the beauty of the fire. She called it a cathedral of flames. The trees on either side of her and on top of her were on fire and it was so beautiful she was just struck by it and couldn't move. Well the Holy Spirit visits the apostles with tongues of flame and a rush of wind, an event that must have seemed just as wondrous and as frightening as a forest fire. And all at once the apostles understood all the languages of the Roman world. Now you're going to ask, they were all Jews. Why were they speaking different languages? Why weren't they speaking Hebrew? Well, Palestine and Israel's always been a war-torn region. You can see what's going on now. Um, something happened called the Diaspora, which was a series of wars and changes in government starting at about the 6th century BC, when Jews and parts of Israel were forced out of Israel into other countries, and they settled in lands like Persia and Egypt and Greece, and they adopted the languages of the places where they resided. So many spoke little or no Hebrew, and the Talmud, the first five books of the Bible, the Holy Scriptures, had to be translated to the different languages. But after the Spirit's fire, the disciples were able to witness to all the observant Jews from all the world assembled in Jerusalem for the Jewish festival of Pentecost, or the first gifts of the harvest. The Spirit's gifts gave them the power to spread the news about Christ around the world. The Holy Spirit was sent by Jesus as our special friend and comforter, so it is a very friendly fire. The Holy Spirit still empowers us today. The Spirit gives us, some of us, the ability to preach, others to translate languages, and some to make beautiful music or art for the church, and many other gifts to help glorify God 
and spread God's love. So let us pray. Holy Spirit, Holy Fire, come into me and fill me with your light and power. Help me to do the work of God's church in the world. Amen.